All right, well, this is the second segment of the inner workings of how a girl's brain works. Probably the most complex section, too. And the second segment deals with what exactly, Bean? The second segment deals with who a girl is and how her mind works when you're trying to talk to her. Yeah. When you're trying to date her. Or maybe when you have been on a few dates already, but not in a relationship. This is all about the the awkward in-between period when you're trying to talk to a girl. The courtship. Now, Drea, <laughs> instead of babbling on like we did about the first one, I'm going to give I'm going to give an example for the both of us. Okay. All right. Say, Drea, you're at a bar <laughs> because you're 21 and you're legal and you're allowed to be there. Okay. Say you're at a bar and a man comes up to you. Now, okay. in this in this scenario, you are single. Okay. You are ready to mingle. Okay. And this guy is not unattractive to you. You definitely would like to talk to him. Okay. But being a girl... All right, how would you approach it? So he comes up to you to come try and talk to you. Shoot. Um, I normally don't like it when someone approaches me because, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of weird to me. Every relationship that I've had or someone that I've dated, I'd, I always knew them for a little while. I think it's, it's not a bad too, thing. I think it's too spontaneous and it kind of, like, I don't know who you are. All right. So it's like, maybe if he came up to me various times without being annoying, like if he actually tried to be nice and wasn't trying to spit game at me like he was some hot shot right i'd give him the time of day but if he cut it, it depends on how he comes off if he tries if he comes up to me and acts like he's the best thing out there there's actually i don't care how good looking he is i would not give him the time of day just to shoot down his ego because who is he to come up to anyone like that but if he was being nice and sincere and he came up and because i would shoot him down the first time but if they were, you know, I think I repeated myself. I'm good now, right? All right, so that's <laughs> scenario number one. So if you're a girl like Drea, mm -hmm. does not like to be approached at the bar. Unless you have a way of talking to her. That's not, and you, you have to be subtle. Don't. Yeah. The thing with guys is that usually that what I've seen at the bar, and I'll, I'll, give, I'll give my response, but then I have another scenario for you afterwards. Okay. So if somebody would come up to me at the bar, because I'm of legal age and I'm allowed to be there. And we if, are. <laughs> if someone had come up to me at the bar and he had appealed to my tastes, I, I would like to say I would like to talk to them, but the thing is, is that you, I, the one thing that annoys me with guys, I'm stuttering like really bad. The one thing that annoys me with guys is that guys, when they come up to me, are either too overly confident or seem really scared to talk to me. And that's the only thing that gets me. Like when somebody. Actually, I mean, overconfidence isn't a bad thing. I don't. I would not mind overconfidence because at least you're not trembling when you're trying to say hi to me. My problem is that guys are too intimidated by me because I get so weak in the knees. <laughs> I can hardly speak. God, I wish I had that song on like standby. <laughs> anyway, but guys just don't. Guys who, if you are, let's put it this way: if you're shy, if you're a shy guy and you have no idea how to go up to a girl and go talk to her and start a conversation I'm gonna give you a little bit of advice um, try to find a situation where you can slither your way in to come talk to her and that's not a really good word because it makes it sound ultra creepy but you need to buy her offer to buy her a drink like or if you stand if you're standing next to her and she's getting a drink pay for it like duh, if you're creepy and you come up to a girl right away and ask her to buy her a drink I'm gonna think you're gonna try to roofie me so yeah. it's just not gonna work. I like, wouldn't take a drink that I didn't no, see. No, that's watch so don't be made. Exactly. Don't. Yeah. If I can't see the drink being made, if you want to talk to a girl, you want an easy way in. If you see that she's at the bar and she orders, if she's and she's ordering herself a drink, pay for it. If you, if that's how you want to start your conversation. But if not, and you want to come up to a girl at a bar, I personally like somebody who's gonna be able to make me laugh. And I know that's really played out because every girl says it, but you not only have to you just be confident in yourself because what have you got to lose? Like, I'm not the kind of girl, I can't say for all girls, but I'm not the kind of girl that's going to shoot you down to your face. That's Drea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to shoot you down to your face. But when you talk to a girl at a bar, bar have some confidence. It, it, you can't really lose anything by having confidence. Playing the shy guy role doesn't work all the time. No. All right, so scenario number two. I'm going to ask Drea first. Now, Drea, in this same situation, you are still single, 
looking to mingle, and someone has come out the blue that you have known for a long time. This is particularly for people who have liked a person but and the, liked a girl and then known them for a while. How would you? How would you like? Wait, that's someone like me or that I yeah, like that? Yeah, say you're friends with somebody already. Oh, okay. And they like you and they would like to try and ask you out on a date or just try and form a relationship out of your friendship. How would you want them to approach you? Do I like them back? I mean, I would guess so. That's the scenario we're playing. Oh, okay. So there's a mutual like here. There's a mutual like. Okay. Um, or there's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would definitely go on a date. I would be fine with that. That'd be like... Uh, a right. go-go now a go-go a go-go Drea a go-go <laughs> you know no go 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 all no. right anyway <laughs> so it's a go-go all right so say however all right say you didn't you didn't know this person liked you okay. and you don't not exactly sure how you feel because let's be honest like how many situations do does the person already know that you like them your friends already not many many uh no all right Let's just cut this down. A girl's mindset when she's date when you're talking to someone. You're talking to someone now. Say you've been texting or whatever. Mm -hmm. How would you like them? To, how do you how do you think when you're talking to someone like that? Like when you're not dating, you're not but you have an interest. Just just an interest. Like there has been like no contact at all. Well, obviously you got the number already. Okay. So, you guys are just talking. Um, I would say if you're taking 60% of your day texting... No, no, no. Oh, what? Talk about you. Like, what are you thinking? How are you thinking about the situation? This is all about oh, how no, yeah. girls I'm, I'm think. I'm going to say that. I'm saying, okay. like, if we've been texting, right, mm -hmm. and you're taking 60% out of your day to text me, mm -hmm. I'm going to obviously think you have some sort of an interest in me because I would love to meet the girl who has the best guy friend that texts him every day. If he's a heterosexual, please introduce me because I don't know anyone like that. Um, yeah, I mean, especially on the topics, if you guys start throwing hearts and kissy faces over there. Well, no, no, I just mean, all right, like, uh, how do I put this into words? Oh, am I doing this wrong? No, no, it's just <laughs> where I just want to explain, like, this is all about how a girl thinks. Oh, so, so pretty how, much she's going to assume that you're into her. No, how do you respond? How do you pick, like, say you're, all right, this is really, I'm, I'm tripping over my tongue right now. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to, all right, I'm going to go. Okay, your turn. So when someone is trying to talk to me, say I've been talking with someone back and forth, the way a girl thinks is that, say, I'm the one that likes somebody. I'm really weird when I like people. When I like you, I'm <laughs> you. <laughs> oh. I'm really, yeah, see, she didn't see that was coming. No. When I like somebody, I kind of ignore them. Like, if I see them out, like, I don't know why I do it, but I, I just... Oh, that's just not This me. is going to make a lot of people really confused because I ignore a lot of people, but I, that doesn't mean anything. See, I'm, this is how girls confuse the crap out of people. Like, yeah, because they can put on the front, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like if you like someone and they don't know, but you're talking a lot, mm -hmm. you're going to assume that they like you, right? They're taking time to text you, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you're going to ignore them because you want a response from them first. Yes, exactly. That's that's very important. Very important. Girls want the response. Girls want to want. All right. Girls need a lot of, like we said, girls need assurance because we assume and we overthink. Now we're going to tie those back in here. Like this is an essay and we're going to talk about how, okay, we're going to talk about girls assume the worst like we established before so if we had say like say we got your number or whatever or we were going to text you or you had our number if you don't text us first we're going to think that you have no interest in us and unless you've had previously stated text me sometime or it's happened before but we girls don't like to text first but you know what sometimes if i like someone enough and i like have a good idea that they like me back if you have I, a good idea that is, i though. throw all that out the window yeah and then but it also sucks because i'm pretty <clears throat> sure your parents have told you like don't do that like girls you know, have given yourself some worth and like let yourself be pursued it's been grained into girls heads that you have to make guys chase you so this, this is, is where so we are weird. at a battle with ourselves because unless it's been assured that the liking is mutual then yeah. girls are gonna be really tricky about everything that so, and you don't want to look like a pathetic exactly because there's this new term out called thirsty and anytime <laughs> you show any kind of interest about anything you're called thirsty and I don't understand because I mean I get it and all but <laughs> I get it and all but like 
liking someone alone just isn't being thirsty. So no, texting someone not. first is being called deemed thirsty now. So it makes it really tricky for anybody to know that anybody likes anybody else because you get called thirsty. I'm sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. But wow. like I'm saying, for girls... Gretchen Wieners. For, <laughs> right, that's why my hair's so big, it's full of secrets. Um, for girls, if... I'm just going to lay it out. For girls, if you like them, let them know. Because if not, then we will seem like a crazy anything yeah. and freak out. And just we just won't think you like us. So we'll be quiet, shady. We'll just be all that, all that stuff. Agreed. So the point is, if you like a girl and you want to see some kind of results from anything, let her know that you like her. Yeah, and why don't you swallow your pride and do the first thing first? Yeah. <laughs> be a gentleman. <laughs> Jeez. All right, we're going to cut to a break and then quickly wrap up with the third segment. Girls in relationships. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll be All funny. Right. All right, so the next song that we have on the list is also one of my favorites. Uh, this is Animali by Incubus. Incubus. 